all of the dirt back into the hole okay. because there are so many eggs. So that's why you get these mounds of dirt. So we always check wherever there's mounds of dirt. Uh, by, and essentially they're always going to be laying, their tail usually sits here, their back legs are here, and their front feet usually sit right up here. Okay. So they usually dig this way. Oh my gosh, it does look like the shape of a snapping turtle. Yeah. Yeah, when you, yeah, when you kind of see it, you're like, oh yeah, and then you can actually kind of tell the size of the turtle as well. Now, if it's like solid, does that mean that that wasn't a digging spot? Yeah, usually the first little bit, they actually can pack it down pretty, pretty yeah, tightly. Yeah, it's pretty uh, packed, like not loose at all. Oh yeah, no, they'll um, they'll pack it down actually quite, quite a lot. They'll use their feet and really like push oh. all the sand back. Because it looks like he he my husband saw it in the morning. I'm like that looks pretty. Like nothing happened. Yeah, no, it, it definitely. Well, especially a snapper versus the smaller turtles, right? Oh, they're so strong. Oh, turtles! I find their nests are even harder to really? find. Really? Actually, I can. Because they're so small. Yeah, you can actually only find their nests when you see them laying their eggs. Okay. Because what they'll do, all their eggs will go into the hole, and then they can actually put all of the soil back into. The oh, because they don't take up as much. Room. They don't take up as much room, and they'll actually use their bottom shell to tamp it down so it'll hit oh, okay. and flatten it down. So, I have a video kind of, of her doing leave. that. We, didn't re we have a video of one doing that. We yeah. didn't realize what yeah, she was doing. Yeah, it tamps so. it down and then actually sometimes when they walk away they'll kind of like swoosh their legs and kind of put some dirt on and be like, look, nothing was here. So mm. they'll like try to camouflage it a little bit. Ready? Yep. You can feel like it's like go, you go, just get go. That and cavity. then you like can kind of feel where Oh, yeah. um, there the it is, yep. One. There we go. Okay, like snap turtle eggs. Um, they actually look like ping pong balls, little round circular eggs. Um, painted turtles and other turtle species are more oval. Um, and then what we're doing is we are numbering them as we take them out of the nest. And that's because um, we're just trying to figure out if um, the top layer of the eggs are going to be fertile or not in case a predator decides to dig them up they might only dig up the top part and then not get all the actual fertilized babies that could yeah. be in there and we're also taking soil samples as well uh, to determine what kind of soil the turtles are want to uh, want to lay their eggs in and lately we've been finding clutches of about 20 to 30 eggs but our record so far is up in the low 80s okay. so i really think depends. they could have up to 100. quite possibly That's very yeah possible. honestly snapping turtles especially or any turtle um will essentially lay many eggs they can fit inside their body and because snapping turtles can get so big they can lay so many eggs they may lay a lot lot more and unlike humans, they will keep laying eggs until the day they die. Oh, so they'll go their they entire don't go life. Uh, how do they? Um, how do you know when there's no more eggs left? When there's no more eggs. So what we do is, and what I'm doing today, is I'm basically taking each egg out very, very carefully because you always want to hold them up. So this is the cavity down here. We can see a bunch of eggs in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out as many as I can, and then when I think it's done, I'm going to dig around to see if there's any left. If there are, fantastic. If not, that's how we know it's done. Yep. And usually what they do is, as they're digging, they'll make the hole and they'll stop where the soil gets a bit harder. So you can tell that way as well. If you yeah, see when the you soil hit solid, get, exactly, there's nothing there. Because exactly. when they put it together, they couldn't pack it as hard, right? Yep. So mm. now if there'd been rain since heavy rains since they laid their eggs you would have a harder time finding their nests yes right? absolutely absolutely snappers it's a bit easier just because of the actual formation of the nest but something like painted turtles and other types a lot harder now the other thing is the bigger snapping turtles will be in the bigger deeper lakes won't they uh, not always necessarily no? if um, they're gonna be where there's a lot of habitat and available food and stuff like that oh, okay. so um, you get very large you can get very large snapping turtles in a smaller and, wetland oh, okay. as long as there's a lot of food around and you get smaller snapping turtles in a big wetland or big lakes depending on what's going on okay and how how do you take care of them like do you need an incubator or? yeah exactly so we actually take these eggs and we put them into an incubator and it'll take about one and a half to two months for the babies to hatch and then we actually come back and release them at the closest wetland where we found them. So these guys are actually going to be re released right back into this wetland here. 
Now, why do they need an incubator considering that if they were just left here, mm -hmm. they wouldn't have incubator kind of well, the, temperatures? Well, the sand and, um, and where the location is as well because they're going to be in direct sunlight here. Right. So that kind of acts as its own natural incubator. So if you were to, per se, take that and mm -hmm. leave it in direct sunlight, like say inside a window, of course, so they're safe, but in direct sunlight, would they do just as well? Um, I'm not sure because like right now they're covered in all that soil and stuff, so they definitely need to be in soil. Right, and um, the soil holds the temperatures. Yeah, yeah, consistency. It does. So yeah, with our incubator, um, I can't remember the exact temperature that we keep it at, but we keep them in, we put them in different soil, yeah. special, more special soil with the lids and stuff, and then um, we just keep them in that and check them every single day. Because you wouldn't want them to hatch and be in there with a lid on, right? They no. need air once they hatch. <laughs> yeah, they, all these lids actually, um, we do pull. Oh, there's holes. Okay. Into there's the holes. lid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Once they once they hatch, we make sure that um, and we check them every day. Yeah. So. Now, what's important also is the moisture levels of the yeah. eggs. So that's why we put them in a special type of soil, and we can't just leave them out in the bag because otherwise they'll dry up. Oh, no, okay. Needs to stay moist, which yeah. the ground would, right? Yeah, With absolutely. regular rain. And... Absolutely. So we. So try you're to, trying to imitate. Exactly. What, what they're born into, as of much course. as possible. Now, when you have a chicken egg and you have it in an incubator, you have to rotate it. Do you have to do the same with turtle eggs? Actually, you're going to do the very opposite. You actually yep. don't want to rotate them. So the way Anthony is taking them out is the exact way that the mother laid the eggs in there. And you're making sure they're and set exactly, in the same way. In the yeah. exact same. So you obviously don't want to handle them at all. No, it's actually the only time we really want to handle them is taking them out of the nest and putting them yeah. in here. And then yeah. once and I then you have to change them, them. Yeah. I'm going to pack some more soil on there to make sure they're not going to rotate at all. So you can turn it like this, like that. Yeah. You don't want to turn it around Don't want like to this. flip them. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And we're slowly but surely getting to the end of this nest. So right now, if you guys want to check, this is completely empty now. Right okay. about here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move a bit of dirt around just to make sure that there's no more egg. And do you have a count of how many you get up this way a year? Um, how many nests we get? Um, or eggs? or Eggs. Last year our projects were with the Start Turtle Project, Saving Turtles at Risk Today. And uh, last year within the Muskoka area and the northern part of Lake Simcoe, we got just over 8,000 eggs. Yep. And, um, and how many survive? Like, actually, you know? we, um, we hatched just over 7,000, I believe. Oh, that's great. So it's a, it's a good, Very like... Because you wouldn't mm -hmm. have gotten that in the wild. No. no not at all. In the wild, the predation rate is about 80% of all nests. Wow. Yeah, so that's why we, uh, we come out and we excavate these eggs, just to try to give them a little bit of a helping hand.